This tutorial will demonstrate how to convert a Microsoft Excel file to an LAS file using the LAS Apps software. We begin by clicking on the LAS Apps icon, which will start the software, which looks like this. If you live in the United States, you'll want to click on the API for your well identifier. Otherwise, you can use UWI. We can close that form. The Routine Microsoft Excel to LES is located under the menu item More Tools and here Convert Microsoft Excel to LES2 and you'll end up with this form. The form warns you saying that this was not designed for Excel files that contain dates that have slashes or dashes or time that contains colons. If you have those, you don't want to use this program. The Excel file needs to be called sheet number one, and it should look like this. The example file is right here. The first row you will notice contains the curve mnemonic followed by the units in brackets. So we begin with depth in brackets feet, caliper in brackets inches. And here I left off the units for LSPD and what will happen is the LES file will have no units for that specific curve name. The data follows underneath. If you happen to put in a time of hours, colon, minutes, colon, seconds, which you're not supposed to do, you'll end up with a fractional day, like this number right there. If you put in a date with slashes or dashes, you'll end up with a blank, which can cause you difficulties. And if it doesn't cause you difficulties, it'll just make it a null value. So that's your example file. So that's what your Excel file needs to look like to convert it into an LAS file. So to begin, we go to Browse to find the file that we want to uh, convert. And here I'm going to use my C LAS apps example data. 4C, I believe, here, 4C, Microsoft SL to LES, and I'm going to use example number one. Click open, and it'll populate this box, and when you click on continue, it'll import the Excel data into the software. We first need to decide what to do with the header. We can put the file name into the UWI API line, the well, or the location line, or if you already have an LAS file for this well, you can click on this button here and you can actually import company name, well name, location, state, province, and, and such. So that's what we'll do. I'm going to go browse, LAS apps, example data for Excel to LAS, and here I have a donor header. It's a normal LES file that exists for this well. The next step is that we need to decide whether we like the null value provided or whether we want to change it. And then we need to decide where to start the LES file. And normally you pick a value directly under the depth, but if you wanted to start it a little, little bit later, you can do so. So I'm going to start it at 145.3. Once I've, finished, once I've clicked the file, click the cell that I want, the software will start running and it'll be done real quick. So here we go. And there's your answer. Oh, the note says it's done. Remember to save the results. Okay, we'll remember that. Here is your answer file. It's in LAS. It's started at 145.3 like we asked it to. It imported the company name, well, field, and location from our donor file, as well as the province. Okay. Interesting. And then we have the curve names right here, and there's your data. At this point, we can run the certify program to make sure that it 
meets the, cert, the LAS specifications by hitting the cert button right there. Click on execute and it says it's done and it didn't find any errors. Well, that's good. This event thing, which is under view events log, tells you what it actually did. It started the Microsoft Excel to LAS converter. It looked at the heading it built the heading and processed the data section. And then it moved over to certify, didn't find any errors and then we're done. So I can close that form. At this point, we need to save the results, which is click on the save button. And I'm going to save this under my in my workbench and I'm just going to go save. And that's it. Thank you for watching.